people only will hear you on the voice or like you know your your speech but they cannot see you but this will be my video journal for like you know weekly what stress is preventing us from staying on a track to recovery okay and one of the goal like i i'm going to recap because this is being recorded one of the goal you said was you want to learn how to read right that's a one of the, the goal you set for yourself and the second uh, thing last week we addressed was that work gives you time limitation even though you're very good at doing what you're doing and you're, you're taking pride in your job they're giving you like like a limitation on like instead of validating what you have done they're coming up and saying you can do better right is that how it's happening how no. how would i word it no it's just that you have a certain amount of time so why is that they are bothered because they have to pay for your time? Is that like, like what I'm saying is, why is there a cap on time? Can you like check out like after a certain time and then do it in your own time? Or do you want to be in compliance with that time? Yeah, they'd like you to do it in like nine to five. I mean, five so they don't nine. want you to go over because it'd be overtime. Right. Is that what it well, is? Well, my boss won't pay the company. Like, he pays me from five to nine, and then if I work over, I write it on the board in the company. Pays, and he doesn't want you to do that. Yeah. Well, he wants you to finish it before the time. And even though you take pride in doing it in the correct frame, sometimes he feels rushed towards the end. Is that what is causing the stress? Yeah. And what did well, you? It's just, it's just me. Like I'm worried about. Oh, you and uh, like uh, the last hour is very rushed for you, right? Is that yeah. how you said? Well, they're not really rushing, but in my mind, I want to get it done so they don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't pick on you. Yeah. Okay. So they don't wonder why. So, like, it's kind of like, like it, I'm probably overreacting, but you know, it's okay so. to overreact because if you don't know what the problem is, you cannot fix it. So, I understand, like, it's kind of like the same, right? For me, I am also needing to watch what I'm, how much time I'm spending with you and stuff. Because everybody is like watching us, like, you know, indirectly, like, you know, and uh, even though I'm serving you well, or in, that's what I think, um, yeah. <laughs> um, like, say, but the person outside might be annoyed, right? right? Like, so I feel time, you can stretch and steal the way you want, depending on people's needs. If somebody is very, very sad, I don't want them to leave here holding their tear. You know, I would rather them empty it in front of me and go with a light heart. Because if I don't do my job of letting you guys leave this room in peace, I am going to create that space in me that worries about you for next seven days, right? So I feel my goal is not to let that space of restlessness continue. That's why, like, we were recapping about, like, my teacher saying, the reason I'm bringing up my teacher, because he, he really has a very nice way of saying it. He calls it completion. And I'm going to reword it, because I feel sometimes I don't grasp it at all what they are meaning by completion. What they are saying is, if there is something that still bothers you, address it. I mean, that's the way he says it, but they call it completion. And uh, when they use different words, it, then it um, creates a fear in me. I wouldn't be catching up to that word. And for me, word is honor. You know, when I give a word, if I break it, it's a violation inside me. And I cannot deal with it. I go into this mental agony and I'm, I self-explore. Does it make sense? Oh, yeah. Because I put so much uh, energy into that word. And for me, if I am agreeing to them, it just makes me stop everything, finish that. That means giving up my child, willing to be divorced, going away, living as a saint, do whatever it takes to get back my soul. And I feel they're extracting my soul. That's the way I see it. But people are saying, you're seeing it that way because my mentor, he says, because you haven't, grown yourself to that level instead of bringing your teacher to your level you need to grow and i said my teacher is so good i actually one day i even told my father we uh, like you know i was homeless one night i said i'm willing to give up everything that 
I don't need my children. I don't need my husband. And I'm going to go back to India. And my dad said, that's not okay. He says, you have to be there for your kids and your husband. And I asked my husband, my husband says, the dad devoted to working with him. Wait for 10 years. He says, I'll go with you in retirement. We'll go together. So my husband is encouraging me. But my teacher is also encouraging me, encouraging me. But my sponsor is saying, if I do not pay and attend the workshop, I am a hypocrite. So I decided to use my husband's word, which is, my husband says, it will at least, least to be 10 years, which will be 2027. 20, but the earliest would be 2024. 20, he says, you can either pick seven years or 10 year gap and tell them you'll do exactly what you want. So I'm willing to give my mentor 2024, the ability to go. He wants me to go all the way to Queens to attend the workshop and give up my work, which means the work is the only thing that pays my insurance, my mortgage, which means I'll become homeless and I'll be without health insurance. He says, I need to take that risk to show. What? Yeah, but that's the way they, they teach us. So one thing is I can be crazy enough to do it that way. And I've done it in the past. Seriously, like, you know, I've gone through all. And I actually invested 2,500 in my previous spiritual course. And my husband was mortified. He went to the temple. <laughs> and he says, can you teach her some, some wisdom? And he just, she scares me. She doesn't listen. <laughs> he was like freaking out when I was doing that. So because I went through this process once, I know I don't need to be crazy. And I feel I can do it in a way that makes sense to me. Mm. So I felt I would buy time. So this time, I'm going to take time on my side. And I'm going to work with time so that I'm going to steal time. Yeah. And I said, I'm going to tell myself it's going to be 2027 or 2024. I'll go. But I'm going to have an escape clause. If he by chance happens to call 20.24 <laughs> military, military time, that is okay. Yeah. Like, you know, so what I'm saying is I'm going to give myself escape to us. Oh, okay. So I'm going to play a trick on myself. And if it is true, it's going to come true, you know, or it could be like, you know, whatever it is, like, you know, like what I'm saying is I'm, I'm looking at that number rather than the value. Oh. So that's the same way. Is there a way you can create? Because you you think like me. You have a brain that works differently than normal, right? You don't think logical. The logical people scare me. I am very afraid of them. Very afraid of people who think they are normal, who screw up other people's life, and they think the other per person is crazy than them. <laughs> and I am so afraid of these human beings. Yeah. <laughs> I would rather have an animal yeah. <laughs> or a plant. You know, I would rather think animal. I would rather think plant because the human beings are the one that hurts me the most with their work. I would rather have silence. I would rather have people who are kind in their action mm -hmm. rather than showing up with their wisdom. Because I feel there are a lot of smart assholes in this world yeah. and very few wise people. Yeah. <laughs> so to recap, how can I impart what I learned to you, so it is be easier in your life. Do you? What did you get out of all the stuff we are talking about? Is there any any piece in it that makes sense to you? Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. So you need to do it your way. Maybe maybe tell him tell me like what it meant for you. And the other thing is Happy Mother's Day. I know you're very close to your mom. What are you going to do? One thing for your mom. Oh, she passed away. Oh, how would you honor Mother's Day? Would you honor the space you hold for her inside you? Yeah. How would you do that? Just keep her memory. I feel like, you know, like if there is, because there is a mother in you, right? Like even though she passed on, she, she lives in you, through you. So if there is a way you can do something consciously on Sunday, it will help you also to get, see, you are, you are feeling rushed. All the time management is about nurturing, right? You don't feel nurtured there. And that's what is lacking. So I'm trying to create the space for you and me. Because I'm going through the exact thing, but in another way, you know. So I feel like, you know, 
uh, I bought myself a very nice flowering plant which I have desired. I'm not going to let another person disappoint me. <laughs> let me go treat myself. <laughs> yeah. So I went and I went to Home Depot. They had a very nice mandible plant. I love mandible. So I went and bought my own plant. The only thing I expect from my family is if they can get me a planter. But if they don't get me, I'm good. You know, and I feel I'm cool with the being the mother inside. But if they don't get me, I'm, I love them still. So I told them, I'll mandate them going to a movie with me. You know, so that's what I'm going to do. But what would you do one thing to nurture the mom in you? Do you want me to give you another prayer thread? I, I remember I gave you the blue one, right? That's what I'm do, doing for everybody. Giving them a prayer thread consciously to bring in the mother space in you. You, you are able to wear it or you yeah, took it out? Okay. You want me to make you another one? Yeah, I can make another one. What color? Yeah, green. I'm going to show you all the colors I have. You, you choose the one you like. You can either wear it in your neck or you can wear it. I have these. These are the four colors I have. It's kind of like a little bit more darker than you want. Um, the red one looks nice. You like the red? Yeah. Okay. What is your mother's date of birth? Like meaning like day of birth. It's back. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's happening. Which month is what you want? What is mother's numbers? What it, what would it, what in if you are going to think of a, your mother's number? What it would be? What is the nurturing number for you? Number. Because I'm going to cut it that way so it makes sense to you. you know, that many inches. Or I'm trying to figure out like you know how would we think? Because you want to honor the space, right? Ten. Your mother's number is ten. In what way can it significant to you? Um, okay, my teacher, the nurt nurturing part, he says 21 times 2, 42. Because any habits to change, he says it takes three weeks because that's when you build new blood vessels. Oh, yeah. So, to anchor it in our soul, it's two times 21. So let's create a new number, 42. 42. So I'm gonna give you 42 inches. You need to wear it. Where do you, do you wanna put it in your neck or in your hand or you wanna keep it in your car? Where do you want it? You want it with the bell? Yeah, we can. You want a little bell on it? With a bell? Yeah, I think it So what what is the purpose of the bell is you never look back like you know like how when when you see only one footprints God was walking carrying you. Remember the footprints? Oh yeah. The bell is never to turn back in self doubt. Because there was a goddess who was following a saint. And the goddess says she will follow Prabhupada. He will never look back in self doubt. And he stopped and she says to honor the space when he looked back. She says she's going to stop there. So you keep moving ahead in wisdom. But when you hear the bell, know that God is following you. So that's another way to like think of. You never need to look back and like in a second guess yourself. When you, hear, yeah, you hear the bell, you don't second guess yourself. It's like, yeah, it's like uh, in that uh, it's a wonderful life. He says, whenever the bell rings, the angel gets a wing. It's like another way of saying it, right? Yeah. Okay. Is this my mother's day gift to you. Mother in me loves you. You're, you're good in my eyes. 
because you wanted a green color. I'm going to honor that space too. You get your green, you get your red, and you get your bell. You earned your rings. <laughs> in my eyes. You're a good kid. You know? I mean, you deserve good life. You don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And if they do tell you otherwise, tell them you'll have a problem with me. My doctor says she will have to deal with you. Oh, my person. You wait, whichever way you wish. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, you can cut if you want. You want me to cut that? Uh, oh, this part, yeah. Nice. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Happy Mother's Day, okay? And I hope you, yeah, you, you do well. So I'm going to send the script over. So, uh, let me turn off this. Huh? So I got to think of.